What's poppin' everyone? We are back on Pokemon Showdown today for another OU Live. This time, of course, with another suggestion. I always do enjoy uh, the suggestions you guys give me. And uh, I, I saw uh, a couple um, suggestions for Golduck. A couple uh, people saying they want to see Golduck over the course of, uh, I don't know how long, but I remember seeing that comment. And so uh, I bring to you all today a Golduck OU team. Let me show you guys how I made Golduck usable in the OU tier. All right, let's hop into it. As you can see, I have a Calm Mind 3 attack set for Golduck with Psyche MZ. Synchro Noise is a very, very cool move. If you guys don't know what that does, it hits Pokemon sharing the same type. So it also hits Water type Pokemon. And that's especially useful for dealing with stuff like Toxapex. This thing will destroy Toxapex. Golduck, the Toxapex Destroyer. Um, it can hit up Keldeo for like really good damage as well. Um, and uh, I don't know, just a lot of different things. And plus like it and like the Z move for it too works really well. Under uh, Rain, it will be able to have that Swift Swim ability so it can outrun so many different things. And I figured that was the best way to run this thing in order to outrun major threats in the OU tier. We wanted to be fast, so we paired it with a... Um, I, I paired it with a Rain Pelipper uh, for the team because I wanted... Golduck to have that Swift Swim, boost Scald power, get out fast Calm Mines, and force in other water types to try to check this thing where I can blow it back with like Synchronize or Z-Synchronize for that matter. And of course Ice Beam to hit certain grass types like uh, like maybe Bulu or um, Tangrowth and stuff. Pretty useful. Um, so yeah, we got Pelipper to set up the rain. Nothing too special here. I don't have water type move on this because I do pack three water type Pokemon. So figured that uh, either my Golduck or my Volcanion can start spamming stuff like uh, Scald or Steam Eruption respectively. Um, Volcanion, I figured would be really cool for the team because firstly, it gets a boost in Steam Eruption, right? Secondly, with the rain up, water type moves are stronger on both sides. So this thing gives me a water type switch in. And thirdly, it's a water type that can beat Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is a really big problem for Golduck because I'm not running Focus Blast on it. So Volcanion, I think, is going to come in uh, a, a lot in, in handy because you could sub on Ferrothorn. They can't really break your sub unless they have Power Whip and maybe the Leech Seed or something, but uh, flamethrower it still like hits really really hard versus ferrothorn so i think that's that itself is just super worth it for the team in order to make gold duck have an easier time versus other teams uh, then we have a mega guard chomp for some stealth rocks and swords dance i just wanted a mega pokemon for the team didn't have one just want my guard chomp because i don't really use mega guard chomp too often pretty cool mon and stomping tantrum goes through grassy terrain which is useful Magirna, which is there for AV, uh, it's a good mod I think for the team. Gives me a Steel and Fairy type, Sponge hits like from Lele and Zam and stuff. And finally a Zapdos, which has uh, Thunder and HP Ice. Hits a lot of stuff pretty well. And Rocky Helmet with that signature item and Static Defog. So that's going to be the team. Uh, let's go ahead and find a game. See how we do with uh, our squad DuckTales, Golduck. Let's see if we can put in work with it. I'm really excited because Golduck... Uh, while testing out a little bit here and there, Golduck has been putting in a lot, a lot of work, okay? I'll have you know. This guy's team looks like it gets destroyed by Golduck. We just gotta weaken that AV Magirna, weaken the uh, Greninja a little bit. Combine just sweeps him, I think. Um, so what are we gonna lead with? I think we just lead here with our Pelipper, as he leads Magirna. Probably gonna Volt Switch here, I think. So I could just go into my own Magirna, I think. Should be fine. As the Ice Beam is predicting uh, Garchomp to come in. Which is perfectly fine. Volt Switch here is my play. Then into Garchomp because he's not going to Ice Beam twice. Uh, yep, there we go. There we go. I could just Stomping Tantrum here. Thinking that he might Ice Beam, which he actually does. Doesn't knock it out though, unfortunately. Um, Earthquake actually might be nice on this thing. But yeah, it's, it's fine. But like I said, weakening this thing amazing for uh, Golduck because I'm pretty sure this just knocks him out knocks out this thing right now perfect so that thing is gone switch-ins are uh, looking a little difficult now I mean he has Greninja but you already know not much else uh, superior at this point in time can definitely switch in so we are going to switch out here probably into Magirna as he just goes for the Leaf Storm which is fine I can just Iron Head here as he's, yeah, gonna do that sub stuff. Gonna Flur Cannon now. Get off some big damage. Very big damage. Um, what do I do here? I think... Probably just Iron Head. As he actually goes Garchomp instead of 
spamming sub, which is fine. Look at that, superior is weakened now. Golduck is gonna come through. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a Golduck, uh, I'm feeling a, a Golduck kind of sweep pretty soon. Um, let me go for the, I don't think I need a defi, I'm gonna U-turn here. Uh, he is rough skin rocky helmet, okay, okay, that's fine. Perfectly fine. Gonna ice beam to knock him out. Like, Grant is still, I guess, a decent switch in for him, but like I said, you know, can't really afford to go into different things at this point in time. Scald here looks really good too. I don't know if it knocks him out though, that's the only thing, but in the rain, it might. Maybe if I get a little bit of chip with that Rocky Helmet, that could be good. That could definitely be good. Uh, what do I do? Because I could stay in and I could just hit him up. But I don't... Hmm. I'm going to hit him up. You, you know what? I'm going to hit him up. Rain boosted. That's not enough. Oh, but he just SDs up. Not bad. Not bad at all. He's going to Sucker Punch here. Yeah, perfect. And we can knock him out with a Thunder. Beautiful, so Mawile is gone. Greninja comes in here. Probably uh, Protean. I have two Defoggers on this team, I just realized. <laughs> I have two Defoggers. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, let me go into Magirna here. I can live a Dark Pulse, I think. Just go for a Flare Cannon right now. As the Dark Pulse is. Yep, we eat that up. Flare Cannon, knock out Gren. And it looks like we just win with... Uh, with Golduck, don't we? Pretty sure we do. That, that, that least one didn't even take us out either. Nice. All I gotta do here, sack Pelipper. And go Golduck, I think, and win the game. That's gonna be GG. Nice, nice. Let me just switch one thing real quick. I have Defog on Zapdos. So I think I can just put... Scald here. Yeah, you can tell I haven't really tested too much, but <laughs> I uh, I definitely like this kind of build a lot. So let's move on to the next game. Um, and we have here a uh, an interesting team, I should say. Very interesting. Sand, Coco Lucha. Cool. Um, <laughs> Alright, you you already know we gotta beat down this guy. Um Let's let's lead off here with the uh with the Garchomp maybe, I think it's fine. Garchomp's a good lead. Let's leave with that. And, and he leads landers. Okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm gonna go hard Zapdos here. As he sets up rocks, I could probably just defog as he just booms. Okay, so he's just a lead set. Should've known. Should've known. Um Back to Garchomp I go, as he taunts me, it's fine, I can just Mega, go for the Stomping Tantrum, he gets up a Reflect, um, it's alright I guess. How do I not lose to Halucha? That's the question right now, because this Zapdos is weakened, and that's not good at all. I go Pelipper here, prevent him from setting up. He has a reflect up, so I can just hurricane now. Nice. <laughs> Good way to waste your Halucha. So he goes back into Tapu Koko. I don't believe um, that he has an electric move on that thing, but he just taunts anyways. Which I don't really understand. Oh, he does have an electric move. I don't really need the uh, rain boost anyways, I think. Titar comes in, he does give me sand force, but he still has reflect up. So that's the only problem. Uh, what do I do? I, pro I probably could go into um, big Volcanion and steam erupt, but then he might be faster if he's jolly uh, mega Titar, which he could be, he definitely could be. Could also go Golduck here and just Scald him. Scald burn him, I think could be a play. That could also work. But uh, yeah, he's definitely Mega. We're gonna Scald him here. I can get a nice little burn too. Not bad. Look at what he was saying here. Why mod join, nerd? Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Go ahead, go ahead and get burned and miss your Stone Edge too. Ha ha ha. 
<laughs> nice. Just gotta make sure I don't get counter swept. Ah, good old, good old Wayman here. <laughs> it's time I show him the way, man. I'll just iron head him a bit. Thunderbolt shouldn't do much. Exactly, exactly. Say goodbye. Got that plus special attack. That is what I like to see. Now we just gotta not lose to this thing. Um, Volt Switch here is my play for sure. It's under electric terrain too. So we get some big damage there. Excellent. Um, I definitely go, um, I think Zapdos here. Give him Rocky Helmet and potential static too. So he's forced to hit me right now. Did we get static too? Oh, we do! <laughs> GG. And we just Dragon Claw to win the game. Nice, nice. Hey, at least he said GG in the end. At least he said GG. So, um, <laughs> you saw you saw how he started off, right? And then he sort of, and then we sort of like, we sort of made him a little bit more passive towards the end. He said GG. He like he had, he knew, <laughs> he knew who we were at by then. By, by then, at that point in time, you know, it was too late for him. Um, let's grab another one. So nice game. Uh, on to the next one, of course. And um, it seems we're up against an Electrode Squad. Nice electrode. Uh, let's see. Hi, bro. Hello. Thank you. See, I, li I like this attitude. I like this attitude, you know? I like that. A lot. All right. Um, original or originality, maybe, is what he's trying to say. Okay. Oh, originally his team had Golduck over Lycanroc. <laughs> I mean, are you sure about that? <laughs> to counter team rain teams? Uh, maybe. I, yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, so I think I'll just lead Volcanion here. Just because I can... Like, he's... Well, he's going to get up his screens, right? I don't know if... Like, it's light screen, reflect, taunt, and... Boom. No, he's Discharge. What? I thought he'd be a screen set. Hello? Not bad. Alright, Bisharp comes in on the Flare Cannon. That does some good damage there. Not bad. At all. Um, pretty sure I can go Zapdos here. On the Iron Head, nice. So Rocky Helmet, we'll take him out. Cool. Okay, that's that's pretty good. I mean, Volcanion wasn't really too much of a win con in this game anyways, just because everything on his team is kind of fast. <laughs> kind of fast indeed. So Zapdos, I don't know if I should sack Zapdos here or let him get up a Swords Dance. But I think I just sack Volcanion either way. Yep, he's Life Orb, so these things don't run Ice Fang or anything. So I can go Garchomp, Mega Evolve. And Stomping Tantrum, I think is my play. As he goes Electro, so this thing should get sacked here. I mean, he should be Sash. Yeah, he is Sash. Um, I get up Rocks, I think. Oh, he's HP Ice as well. Um, that's fine too. Rocks are going to be pretty nice to chip down his team a bit. And I go Magearna. Probably just Volswitch here. So I, w I was expecting a screen set, but apparently not. Apparently not. No, par no paralysis either. Okay, cool. We, we gotta keep Magirna a little healthy just so that we can deal with the Tapu Lele, I think. Um, get Magic Code on Electrode. That's heat. It's as if he can hear me. It's as if he can really hear me. Um, I'm going Pelipper here. So yeah, in comes Kiram. He definitely has the ability to Fusion Bolt here or Z-Move. Either or. Um, I do need this thing a bit weakened. Because if I can weaken this thing quite a bit, Golda can just clean up his team. Just clean it up. 
You know what I mean? Just clean it. So I could go Garchomp here or... Uh, if I go Garchomp, what is my next play? My next play is going in Magirna and Fleur Cannoning. And he doesn't really have a great switch in that. And then I have Zapdos to pivot into Lando. So I'll, I'll go Garchomp here, I think, is my play. Um, we should be faster. No, we're... Oh, uh, no, 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 we're not. Not in Mega Form. Not in Mega Form, unfortunately. Yeah, um, that's fine. I can go Magirna. I could have pivoted out again into Magirna, but didn't want to take a Z Free Shock or anything. In case you wanted to overkill. Lycanroc should get knocked out here, I think. Yeah, that's gone. I mean, that's actually... That, that being gone is pretty good, actually. It's pretty good. Landers comes out. I can go into... Pa no, I can go into um, Zapdos here. Potentially. SD's up. Uh, that's a... That's a threat. Don't have boom. Oh, is that... That's Sky Strike? Yeah, Sky Strike. I, I should live that. I should live that. Nice. HP Ice does not take it out, though, unfortunately. But Golduck can on the following turn. And Kirim comes in at around 50-ish percent. So Golduck's Z-move. <laughs> How much I need that Stealth Rocks. True. Um... So Golda can actually, might be able to take it out with a Z move. That's what I'm thinking. And then Magirna can just take out the rest. Because this thing is already weakened. He can't switch out or anything. So we definitely stack this Pokemon here. Oh, he oh he gets knocked out by the uh, Rocky Helmet. I can get a fresh fresh uh, rain up. Yeah, I actually should have roosted there because I forgot <laughs> I forgot Sky Strike would turn into a two-turn move. My bad. Um, yeah, I go Pelipper here. Pelipper to get the fresh rain up. I can just uh I can just U-turn, I think. Heat Confusion Bolt, that's fine. Um and my play, I don't know if uh I don't know if the Z synchronized takes him out, though. That's the thing. I really want to calc it, but like at the same time I just want to play based off my instincts. Um Cause if that doesn't knock him out, I hmm. I'm doing it. I'm just doing it for this video. I'm doing it here. Shattered Psyche. Let's knock it out. Go, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> That's what I like to see. And we can scald it here. Um, which is a 2-hit KO. He'll not take his... Oh, Golduck! Golduck came through in the end. Good game. Good game. Nicely done. Ah, not bad. That, that was such a good game. That was such a good game. We're getting some we're getting some really solid games here. Golda came through. <laughs> My boy Golda came through. That's what you call DuckTales right there. That's the story of nice Golduck here. Nice. Alright. Really good uh, so far. So let's grab another game right now and see how we do once again. That was awesome. That was so great. Alright, we got some... Uh, okay, so this is going to be challenging. We got Ferrothorn, Volcarona, Rotom Wash, Salamence. Got a bunch of threats, alright? We got we got a bunch of threats. Um, I might just lead Volcanion, but like he could he could lead Rotom, which is also kind of a threat. Magirna's not bad, actually. Magirna, not a bad lead. Yeah, so I could probably just Vol Switch here. He doesn't have uh, any kind of electric switching or electric immunity. So that's definitely something I can do. Just Vol Switch out here into like... Yeah, he, he evolves too, so that's perfectly fine. If he goes Ferrothorn, I go Volcanion and get off a sub. Um, and that'll be, I think, fantastic uh, for us. So I think he should go Ferrothorn. But that Rotom's Volswitch kind of did a lot to my Magirna, didn't it? That looked like a that looked like a decent chunk to AV. I don't know if it's just me or not, but you know. Um, I go into Volcanion. He doesn't seem to have an item. So I'm not sure what he is. It could be Z move, but or faster. Never mind. Seismic toss. Okay. Perfectly fine. As uh, can literally just uh, hit him up once again with that steam erupt. Kind of figure out what set his Rotom is if he goes hard into that. He doesn't really have a great solution at all, to be honest. Yeah, he goes right into Rotom. Okay. That looks like an offensive Rotom to me. Definitely looks like an offensive Rotom. I'm going to go uh, hard Garchomp here. 
on the Vol Switch, I think. There it is. And probably just get my rocks up here. I think, yeah, definitely get my rocks up. I think he's, I think he has to be like Specs or something. I can Mega here in Dragon Claw versus the uh, Mew. It should knock it out in the Mega form. What? Huh. Interesting. So I could probably just steam her up a couple times here. As our, as I got rocks up, right? So I, I kind of wish that Garchomp had Earthquake now because that definitely would <laughs> do more damage. Um, so that's something to look at. Probably just switch it to like... Because that's what the standard Mega Garchomp set had on uh, the Smogon page. I didn't really have time to look for Chinese spreads or anything, but except for Golduck here is my own creation. Other than that, you know, that's about it. I, I try to make a quick squad because... Getting uh get, getting real busy with work and stuff, you know. Gotta gotta put some teams together really quickly that kind of work it and see if it puts in the the finest on the ladder, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But um, he goes mens. What if this thing is burned? Steam eruption. What's the skull burn? It's not even there. <laughs> Hello. Crazy. Uh, I go hard Zapdos here, I think, because I can HP ice. He dragon dances up. Hopefully, I mean, I, I would assume that he's flanium. I would assume he's him. Dragon Claws, okay, that's fine. I can still use this thing as a Lopunny check. And Pelipper's still there too, so that's not bad at all. Definitely not bad at all. Yep, Volcarona comes in. That thing is a problem and a half. Uh, what do I do? I go... I think I just go Pelipper here. Could also go hard Volcanion, but I think Pelipper's the play. And just Scald him. For damage. Quiver Dances again. Yep. That's fine. He's a leftover set though. So he could have Roost as well. I think my play actually is to U-turn here. Fiery Dance. He does get this Patak boost. Crazy. But I think Volcanion should be able to live this, I think. At least I hope. I really do hope and pray Volcanion can live this and come through. And it does. And it does. That's the that's my boy that's my boy Volcanion. That's my boy Volcanion. Come through. Yeah, Volcaron is a pretty big threat. Um yeah, Lopini comes in. We can go into Zapdos here. As he megas, we get some static, get some, get some fortune. There it is. <laughs> Not bad. And I can just roost on this thing now. Pretty easily, pretty safely. And yep, paralyzed. Nice. <laughs> That's unfortunate for him. Very unfortunate. Um, because I can get back to full right now. Yeah, that's GG. Uh, nice game. 6-0, but not with Golduck, unfortunately, but still. Volcanion put in work. And I remember, like, somebody, I think, wanted to see a Volcanion set being used uh, by me. So, whoever it was, shout out to you for that. On to the next one. And we got some uh, Mega Medicham team. Not bad. I think probably just leading Pelipper should be fine, I think. Leading Pelipper should be fine. As he leaves Rotom, um, probably can go hard into Garchomp here or into Magirna is, not a, is another fine play, but I definitely want to be careful of not getting Magirna too weakened so that we can deal with Tapu Lele. But Garchomp actually is pretty nice versus him too. I'll go Magirna as he ha he's actually a T-Wave Rotom. Nice T-Wave Rotom. Both switch here. I don't know if he'll go hard Garchomp. No, nah, I mean, uh, hard, what is that, Lando. But he goes Tangrowth. I can go into, um, probably, Volcania is not bad. Pelipper is not bad either. Weakening this thing means that Golduck can put in a lot of work later on, especially because I can Z-move the Rotom. At plus one, it should probably knock it out too. Maybe I'll just go Garchomp here. Maybe I'll just go Garchomp and probably SD up here. 
I think I should be fine. As he goes Rotom, yeah, this thing is going to get blown back. Entirely blown back. Oh, it didn't even knock it out. Crazy. He has, oh, he's T-Wave uh, <laughs> T Wave Wisp. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I'll get my rocks up here. And probably SD up again. Oh, he's the uh, Scarf Defog. I Stomping Tantrum, I think, until... He's going to go, like, Lele or something. And this is where I Stomping Tantrum. Oh, he goes uh, Tangrowth. Okay. Fair enough. Dragon Claw for some damage here. Probably get my rocks up now. Um, he will... Actually, with the burn, I think he can knock... No, he can't... No, I, I can keep rocks up, I think. I should be able to. Yeah, I should be able to keep rocks up. Never mind, he... <laughs> oh, no, yeah, yeah, I do, I do. He just U-turned, so that's fine. Volcanion comes in here, easily. Uh, Rotom is at 14%. We can sub here. Sub should be fine. He would probably sack um, Rotom, I'm thinking. Or he goes hard, he's trying expecting the... Uh, the flamethrower, but alas, but alas. Uh, Tangrowth comes back in. I wonder if he's going to try to play around this thing. I wonder if he's going to try to play around it. Yeah, he definitely is. So, um, he lived that. Okay. So that's gone. Metachem is in. So that thing is a threat and a half. A threat and a half. I go Zapdos here on the Zen Headbutt. That does so much damage too. But there's a chance to static him. Let me tell you that right now. There's a chance to static him. And that chance is gone. But it does put him in range of a Surf or a Scald from Golduck. And Golduck kind of just, uh, I mean, it kind of puts in work, doesn't it? It kind of puts in work. This is probably AV, right? So I go into Volcanion. Assuming I go Volcanion, I could probably weaken it with Flamethrowers a bit here and there. Steam Eruption probably does a lot too in the rain. Earthquakes here. That's 25 though. I'll definitely knock something out here. He might just regenerate to keep himself alive for Golduck. Sacks the Rotom. I mean, I kind of expected that too. And Medicham is in once again. I go Golduck here. I think Tangrowth should get knocked out by a Scald plus an Ice Beam. Yeah, it should get knocked out here. I can probably Ice Beam now. As he goes Lele, okay. Um, Skull definitely takes this out here. He's trying to regenerate, but like, <laughs> it's not working for him. It's definitely not working. Sax Landers, that's gone. Goodbye. Very nice. Um, what do I do? I go Pelipper. I go Hard Pelipper here. Zen head, but doing a lot of damage as usual, as usual. Golda comes in now. Scald him here, I think. Ice Beam should still take him out. I don't think he can play around this, but he might be able to. If he doubles the Medicham here, that's a great play, but he does not. So this is really good. This is really good for us, I think. Um, no, because the rain might wear off, and once it does, then Golduck is in a lot of trouble. I think I should have calm minded at some point, and I might have won the game then. Yeah, I think I should have done that.
Oh, that can't hard switch. I got parried. But if, um, if Golda can somehow live a high jump kick, if it somehow lives, then we can win the game. No, he faked out. He faked out. <laughs> yo, yo, dodge. Wait, wait. <laughs> I called it. I called it. It's not hacks. I called it. <laughs> but I definitely would have lost that game for sure. I needed to, uh, I needed to calm mind up, I think, during his, like, switch out and stuff. But I just kept hitting what's in front of me. I thought he would, like, stay in at some point. Hey, a win's a win. Golduck dodged. Golduck dodged that move. So that's a win for us, okay? That, that's a win in our books. <laughs> Let's grab another game. Not bad. Golduck just came through. I mean, I called the miss. Good lord. That's the power of the duck right there. That's the power of the duck. All right, cool. After that, after that miss, I'm feeling pretty good. We are, we're out here uh, hacking our opponents left and right. Um, okay, this guy has Ferrothorn, Gyarados, and stuff. Looks to be a bit threatening. And Slowbro. I don't know if we can win this one, actually. Don't know if we can win it. But we will sure try. Yeah, nice. Ooh, nice Ferrothorn. Nice Ferrothorn. He just spiked he just spiked it up in front of me. He really just spiked it up. Does Earth Power knock it out? I don't think it does. Not from that range. I go uh I go hard Garchomp. Knock off poison. Ooh. Okay. Well, I'm SD up here. And I'm a Dragon Claw you. So I'm gonna have to defog anyway, so no point clicking rocks. I need he he straight up mega immediately, which is actually great. Um, Skull burn me too. Okay. Defog this. Probably go into. Uh, I mean, he'll knock off again, right? Let me, uh, let me give him a little chip. Nice little chip. Sack the Garchomp here. Then I can knock him out with Volcanion, I think. With the Earth Power. Oh, he goes into uh, Ferrothorn. Let me actually get rocks up here. Let me get those rocks up. Then go Volcanion. Sub up. Have some fun. I'll sub again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew this man is kind of wild. Um, I'm an Earth Power actually this time. Might do some good damage. Nice Earth Power, taking it out. Excellent. In comes Greninja. This is gonna Dark Pulse, I think. Low kick. Okay, so he's a Protean Greninja. Do I Focus Blast here, expecting the? Uh, HP fire. I think I might do that, but yeah, it's fine. I don't know if he'll power up here. Like I need this. I need this thing gone, though. I need this thing gone. Um, I'm gonna flamethrower here. Yeah, and we not. I mean, knock it out. Nice, nice, nice. So that thing being gone is absolutely phenomenal for us. Gyarados is in. I. Probably just spam steam eruption at this point. Try to get a burn. Fish for that burn. Does it have earthquake and moxie? Uh oh. Uh oh. No, I think we're fine. He can't really dragon dance here, can he? Nah. And Golda comes in. He should be faster. Z move. Should knock it out. Yep, that's gone. <laughs> Fantastic. This is a Life Orb Greninja as well. Uh, Muck gets knocked out here. Shadow Seek does not poison us. Beautiful. Slowbro comes in. I can go Zapdos. I think it's Spam Thunder. Yeah, I think I have to do that. Spam Thunder a couple times. Got that Para though, 30%. I like it. Knock him out either way. Two it KO'd. Gren comes in. So he'll get Protean. 
We have one turn of rain left. Golda comes in here, finishes him off with a Scald to win the game, and that should be GG. <laughs> he said LOL. GG. Nice game. I said it passively too. I didn't do the caps, so I thought that was a little bit a little bit more respectful. But anyways. Um nice. So what are we at right now? I think we can grab like maybe one more for this one. Get to the 40 minute mark, sorta. Let's grab another. So far, so amazing. So far, so amazing. Hey, for a quick live, you know, that I'm recording before I go to bed because I got work. It's uh, it's uh, It's been pretty successful, I should say. Testing was all right, but the real, the real games are right here. This guy has a uh, interesting Toxapex team. Finally, the first Toxapex of the video. <laughs> the Finally, the first Toxapex. I can actually use Golduck the way that I wanted it to. Um, beautiful. Uh, lead Pelipper is my play, I think, and I can just go hard into Zapdos, maybe? Zapdos, maybe? I mean, if he's SD, that's going to be annoying. Oh, he just Z-moves straight up. Okay. Well, he has to Outrage then, I think. He does have to Outrage. But he decides to get rocks up and lets me roost. But he'll probably SD up here, I think. Or not. So cool, we burned his Z-move. That's actually amazing for us. Um, I'm gonna go Volcanion here. He actually doubles back into Garchomp. I'm gonna Steamer up here. I don't think he's gonna click Earthquake. Yeah, 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 he's not clicking Earthquake here. Not today. O code. Absolutely obliterated. Earthquake would have O-code me too, so I had to make the play. Um, I could have go hard Zapdos. Hello? Alright, that didn't count. We're getting another one. <laughs> that one didn't count. Gotta get another one. But you saw the plays. You saw the plays right there. Definitely like this. Okay, yo, yo, this guy's team. This is my first this is my first loss of this live. This is my first loss. <laughs> what is this? Floatzel, Gramble, like, and I was going to use Floatzel too. Um, it's going to be coming for a future live, I think. Another guy suggested Floatzel. Got some ideas. Ooh, okay. Okay. Um, all right. I'll leave Volcanion. That thing is a threat. Garchomp, come through. Please don't Dazzling Gleam or HP Ice. Yeah, nice. Um, and I Mega, keep my bulk intact. And Tantrum. Nice. We do live. Eat it up. And Oko Tapu Coco. Tapu O-Code. Like getting rid of that's amazing though. I needed that thing gone. Gramble's gonna have Intimidate, isn't it? Or it could be that one set with the uh, speed boosting. Uh, Helio Disc is in. That thing... Uh, I go Magirna. I double into Garchomp. On the expected electric move. Let's go with Politoed. Okay, that's pretty fine. I can get up rocks here. I can get up rocks here. Scalds me, knocks me out, but he got the rain up for me. That's uh, pretty nice, actually. I'll go Volcanion and sub. Does he have Encore? Do not click Encore. Amnesia. He has Amnesia. Ice Beam will not take me out, though. I'd probably just spam Earth Power, actually. That's my, probably my better play. <laughs> nice. Actually, that's the way I wanted it to be. That's what I planned. Hyper Voice goes through my sub, though. That's the only thing. Um, but he goes for Thunder, so that's perfect. Perfectly fine. Gramble comes in. This gets knocked out here, I think. Yeah. Never mind. I'm not gonna... <laughs> I don't know if I'll uh, use this idea for anything. I was gonna use Floatzel, though. I definitely am, I think, later on. I wonder what set he'll use. I'm, I was thinking of using a bulk up set myself. Like a bulk up Floatzel. I thought that might be cool. Um, Hard Zapdos. Power Punch. Oh, Power Punch Floatzel. That's the way of the Chinese right there. Power of Punch. They use that a lot. Let me drop a... Let me drop a... Let me drop a clean... A clean raw thunder. 
That didn't work, and he crit me there too. Unfortunate, but then I guess we get to see, uh... I guess we get to see our last and final endgame of Golduck to come through for us. Probably just, uh... Scald here as the Aqua Jets. That's a lot of damage, though. Sharpedo comes in. Could have uh, calm minded, but I didn't think it was worth it. Scald here. Does some massive damage, and we burn him too. Not bad. Um, and then we can finally just go for the Z Shattered Psych. Does not take him out. Goes for Toxic on me. And uh, yeah, he, he, he forfeits there. So good game, good game. And I think that's where we're going to end it off. I think we had a really, really exciting, really solid Golduck run here. Um, and overall, I'm really satisfied with the team. Putting a lot of work. There are a couple of mods that are a bit scary though. However, um, I think Golduck really showed us why. You know, it's so powerful in rain, I think. Um, isn't that like the common VGC core is like Golduck Pelipper? Isn't that what, what it was back in, um, I don't know, like last gen or something? I don't remember, but I, I played it like once or something. Or I played with it once before. It's really fun. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about Golduck and what you guys might want to see next. I definitely have a good idea. There's some, a lot of Pokemon I want to use still, like um, like Sunflora, like Floatzel, like, I don't know, just a bunch of stuff. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.